Hello, this is my first vlog uh, in Iceland and uh, with my friend we've decided to uh, hike up the volcano. So we've just got to uh, the old lava fields and you can see the sulphur or the gases streaming out of um, uh, the cooling lava and it's just like, it's absolutely surreal. So um, we're going to continue up a hike up the volcano and see what we can find. So we've just arrived at the volcano and um, it's just hidden behind the gases um, just behind me over there. You can just make out the crater. So um, I think we're going to make ourselves a little bit of coffee with a, with a little camping stove. And then we're going to continue um, along, uh, along the path to get a better view of the volcano. I will take a bit of um, B-roll as well and um, I might even take my drone out to see um, if there's any aerial compositions that I could get. Um, I think right now I'm going to uh, get my tripod out and my long lens and um, I'm going to try to um, get, some, uh, get some long zoomed in compositions of the gas. Um, escaping from the lava below and um, yeah it is a really surreal landscape you can't uh, it's something that's pretty incredible because you can't see this anywhere else really but from in Iceland or in other volcanic regions and um, of course it's not as good as I would like the lava to be fresh lava but even the black cool lava with the gases escaping from it is pretty damn spectacular. So I've set up my camera on my tripod and um, I've been taking a few shots with different compositions. Um, most of them with my long lens. I've even tried a panoramic shot. So um, yeah, the the gases and the cloud have been rolling in and covering up the volcano. So uh, it's been a bit of hit and miss, and there's been um, the ch the conditions have been have changed quite a lot. So um, now it's fairly or the the view is fairly clear. So I've been uh, making the most of it and um, taking a few compositions and um, yeah, I'll put them up on screen um, later on and I'll talk you quickly through my camera settings. I use the fairly fast shutter speed to capture the rising gases. The distance between my camera and my subject allow me to lower my aperture to 7.1. This also let me keep my ISO low at 125. I didn't have to worry about any depth of field so I focused on my subject and set my focus ring to infinity. I tried to stay minimal in each composition and um, use the fog and the cloud to really sort of pick out some shapes and uh, textures of the, the volcanic uh, lava and the hills um, and even the volcano. I've tried to deconstruct the scene into lots of different compositions uh, with just uh, like the hillside, the gas leaking out of the lava, etc, etc and um, even the volcano hidden by the just emerging from the cloud and the gases. So um, I've also made or tried to do a panoramic shot. So I made sure my tripod was level and um, the, the exposure was right throughout the image to, um, to take the image. And um, just so you can get a real appreciation of the panoramic view.
so I've just finished um, flying my drone around. I haven't um, actually seen any compositions with my camera yet, but uh, I did see a ton while I was flying the drone. Um, I, but you, you can't really see at the moment. Um, as most of the lava around the volcano has cooled, you could think it's, um, it's dormant or it's not really erupting, but all you have to do is fly a drone over the top of it and you can see oh, there's, still, there's still lava there erupting. So you can find some really, really nice compositions if you get it in the, in the right place. And uh, there's lots of sulphur that has accumulated on its banks. So you basically make, or you can get some really amazing images um, with the yellow of the sulphur on the black rock, on the black volcanic rock. So um, there's some really amazing images to be had by drone. So about that helicopter, flying about for the last five minutes, so um, yeah. I think I'm going to pack up now and head back um, to where my friend is waiting for me and um, yeah, so it's definitely been worth it, the rough hour hike up here and um, yeah, I'll probably be coming back here again. I'm just back on my way to hiking back to the car. So um, yeah, the light is absolutely gorgeous now, but um, the sun is uh, out. Basically, the sun is a bit too high, so um, as it's getting on to like 10, 11 o'clock. So um, it'd probably be best if it's like a sunset shoot or something like that. So yeah, I'm going back to the car now and um, I'll see you guys later on. During our hike back to the car, more and more people started to arrive and the skies cleared. I managed to grab a few snapshots of other hikers in this epic landscape, giving a sense of scale to the scene. In next week's video, I'll take you through how I edited my images from the volcano, and I'll also share with you the photos from my second visit to this stunning location. Be sure to tune in next Sunday when you'll get to see the lava erupting and come pouring down into the valley. I'll see you then.